San and Michael. I go to God Preparatory Academy. I'm 16 right now. My name is Jonathan Randall, and I go to TLC, and um, I'm 14 years old. My name is Joshua Randall. Uh, I am 16 years old, and I go to Learning Choice Academy. I'm Benjamin. I'm 13, and I go to Heritage Christian School. My name is Brandon Stepp. Been producing for a while now, actually full time for about six years. And that's kind of where I got started in music. My name is Rashad Graham. Well, I started to play drums when I was about two years old. I played for various artists and produced for various artists. My name is Joseph Mack. I've been playing keys since I was 15 years old, producing music, taking a, a an idea from an artist saying, I have a song, this is my idea, and turning it into uh, a masterpiece. This week, what went on was actually a very, 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 very beautiful situation because we've seen kids do go a step outside of themselves. So this week, they got a chance to uh, compose music, you got a chance to film music, um, really work as a team and brainstorm on a uh, on one project from from paper to production. You know what I mean? From like I said, from paper to actually videotaping to actual uh, getting on the keyboards and, and really producing and making something happen. The David Hearts Foundation is actually beneficial. Um, it kills time, but at that at that moment, you can learn more about what you're skilled at. Helps you understand new things that you haven't learned yet. Like for me, I didn't know I produced and it was pretty hard. Like making sure everybody was on check, everybody was like knowing what they were gonna do, what they were gonna ask, and how they were gonna do it. I learned a lot of new stuff about how to make beats with Pro Tools and everything like that, and it was pretty cool. Um, how like to give like a, a good interview and um, how to ask questions like the right questions and stuff like that. Just been overall great experience. I didn't really think that um, there was any more for me to know about like camera and editing on the computer and everything. But when I got here, I learned that uh, I was wrong <laughs> and that um, there's a lot more to like the camera than just the record button. For a majority of the time I was making tracks. I'm, I'm making the music for the documentary. I'm like sitting down at the piano, composing, sitting here at the board, learning how to use the, the soundboard and all the, the uh, pro tools and all that stuff. Working with the kids this week was definitely a, a great experience. They're smart, brilliant, just like little sponges. They soak up stuff. Uh, very well and surprisingly with the amount of time that we've had with these kids um, They really just got it really really quick working with the kids for about five years Five uh, four and a half years now with David's heart. It's been crazy rewarding the whole time this week was no different I mean it was a fantastic week the kids if you were here to be able to see them from where they started to where they ended I mean sometimes they come in they're kind of aloof. They're like, ah, you know, but as we even started that morning that Monday morning you can see kids sitting up in their chair. You can see body uh, posture changing. And it's just because somebody's caring, you know, and we're actually going through the real processes and real steps of doing a, a video. And just the responsibility um, of doing that, you can see them change completely. This week has been just like full of hard work, you know, mixed with fun, mixed with just like anticipation. It's just. There are so many things that you could say about this week. Some people, you know, get kids to start certain things and then they just drop the ball. Maybe leave kids hanging or leave, you know what I mean? Uh, so finishing something and seeing the faces, seeing their faces light up that they, wow, I accomplished this. They get to see their name in credits. Just their, the looks on their faces, man, was, was, was enough for me. And looking at the kids' faces when they were done, like, just relief and just so happy. I think that was probably the most rewarding moment this whole week. Another crazy moment for me was watching Jonathan um, go from like having like a slight interest in video to like being completely and totally engulfed in how the camera worked, what were the internal workings of it, um, and watching him interact with Calvin was amazing. You know, I, I kind of had a few moments this week that were just 
even a little emotional, you know, just seeing kids come out of their shell and, and uh, seeing them be productive, you know. I think another thing that was great was them learning Pro Tools. I mean, it takes most people a long time to learn Pro Tools and for them to sit down at, at the board and to sit down at the software and actually, you know, hit the ground running. Uh, Joseph actually teaching them how to mix music in Pro Tools was, was amazing, you know, and them just taking to it naturally, being kids and being technology savvy as it is. So that was great. I really would recommend this to a friend, even a family member, if they need an internship to understand how a studio works or how to write a documentary. It'll help them understand what they would want to do in the future. I would definitely recommend this program to one of my friends. And I actually hope that I can come back another time. Yeah, it was definitely a lot of fun. I just I hope I can come back even after this thing is over. Uh, and, uh, Hopefully it'll go on next year or sometime in the spring and I'll get started up again to learn more. It was fun, it was tiring, it was hard work, it was it was good experience. I would definitely recommend it to anyone that wants to get into this sort of thing, to come into a studio and do work and like see a good product come out of it. I can't imagine what a program like this is gonna do for a kid that has, you know, six, eight, ten weeks plus to actually sit there and uh, for us to work hands-on with them. But this week was definitely about um, getting a project done, and these kids definitely did that. I think the lasting impression from this week for me was <clears throat> one of hope, because sometimes a lot of kids around here don't get to see a lot of hope. And um, just to be able to, to, to start a project from the very beginning and to see it through to the end with passion and to, to be tired sometimes and not want to do it and still have to do it, and to have that teamwork and people counting on you, um, to see that hope, you know, and and responsibility from a Sinet, one of the other little kids that was a producer, um, he knew that it was either him or it wasn't going to get done. And I don't think that kids around here really have the opportunity to have that kind of responsibility often. So just all of these uh, experiences combined is what make David's Harp what it's what it is. You know, it's it's grassroots from the ground up. It's always has been. It always it always will be. Um, people in the industry that care about kids interacting with kids to see a positive change in their life and then that's what it's about and um, this week was just no different. Well before this program I was really I was still interested in music I, no I wasn't interested I was I was all in for music all in for chasing that dream and for chasing uh, uh, just the whole the, just the whole thing like I, I want to. I want to know how to play all the instruments. I want to know how to sing. I want to know how to do all those things so I can do what I'm. I'm meant to do because I know that music is in me. I know that that uh, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I know I'll still be doing this in the future. So when I look back, this program will be a, a big part of my past. It'll be a part where I look back and say. That is what helped me. That is the thing that helped me. That's it definitely a big part of where I am now.